it's no secret that that Vestas was voted this year as the most sustainable yes, company yeah. in the world, and and yes. <laughs> and we obviously want to keep it that way. And we also look for not as the only solution to that problem, but we also look towards digitalization for solving at least some of the aspects of that challenge. So this year we have digitalized our base materials, and of course base materials play a vital role in this regard, because we want to make sure that we are not, you know, sourcing blood diamonds or copper from the wrong regions of the world, right? Not that you would use diamonds, but you get the point. So that starts with, you could say, creating a digital representation of our, all of our base materials and connecting it to our various design tools, including our PLM system, which is what we have done this year. And also connecting the same data object to our raw materials, our parts, so that we have one source of truth in this regard. And now that we have most of that in place, we can then also start to take the next step of, of controlling those base materials. Needless to say, a large portion of the designs that we have in our turbines are not made by Vestas. We source them from our sub-suppliers, of course, and that creates some new challenges in terms of you can figuring out, you know, if we have a, a large assembly as opposed to a part, how do we then keep track of what materials went into the making of those parts and those assemblies. And it creates some new challenges as opposed to when we have a complete bill of material where we can add all the data objects to ourselves. But it's fundamentally somewhat of the same problem, right?